Hi, I'm Bob from Plastic Pipe Shop and in this video we're going to have a look at how far or close together you need to space your pipe clips. The first thing we need to consider when how far apart our pipe clips are going to be is they need to be close enough to stop our pipe from sagging when it's full of liquid inside. Now, if you look on our website, in the main pipe and fittings page for each type of plastic, there's a table, and on that table it'll give you for every size of pipe what the maximum distance between pipe clips can be. Any further apart from that, and when you fill it for the fluid, the pipe's going to start to sag, which is going to put stress on the pipe. So the smaller the diameter of the pipe, the closer together the pipe clips need to be. I've got a piece of pipe here, this is a, a piece of two inch pipe and I'm trying to bend it, it's not going to bend at all. Whereas a piece of 16 millimeter pipe here you can see bends really easily. So the smaller the diameter, the closer together the pipe clips need to be to stop that pipe from sagging. There's also something else we need to consider and that's the temperature of the fluid which is going through the pipe. Plastic gets softer as it gets warmer, so the softer it gets, the more likely it is to sag with weight in it. So again, the closer together our pipe clips need to be. And that table on our website gives you two different temperatures, 20 degrees and 40 degrees. If you're any warmer than that, obviously, they're going to need to be even closer. So what's so wrong with a sagging pipe? Well, apart from looking completely rubbish, so your pipe's going down and up and down and up, so it doesn't look like a very professional job. A sagging pipe gives us two problems. The first is it'll allow for debris to collect in the bottom of the sag, which can then start to harden up and can maybe even block your pipe. And the other problem is at the point where it's clipped, if it's a high point, you're much more likely to get an airlock. So if you've got any entrained bubbles in the pipe, they're much more likely to build up over the top of that clip and you're going to get an airlock and that's going to restrict your flow as well. Another consideration is elbows, valves and other pieces of equipment in the system. For example, if we've got a butterfly valve like this, which is sitting in our system, this is a pretty, a pretty weighty valve. So we're not going to want our clip as far away one side and as far away the other side, because that's going to put extra weight on the pipe, extra stress on the pipe, and it's going to pull it down. So any heavy pieces of equipment or valves or filters, we, we really want to clip right next to the valve to give that maximum support in the middle. Another example is when we use elbows. For example, if we have our pipe clips a long way away from an elbow here, the elbow wants to drop because you've got all that weight of pipe, it's all the way up here. So if we have our clips closer to the elbow, I can let it go and the elbow doesn't drop. Now you might think, well, what does it matter if the elbow drops? But actually, it's putting extra stress on your pipe. So if that's left to hang in midair, that's gonna give stress on this pipe going out here and this pipe going out, out here. And that could lead to damage in the future. It could lead to an issue in the future. Plus, it's going to look rubbish because your pipe's going to tail off and look like that as it goes around the elbow, which isn't going to look good. It'll give places for debris to build up on the bottom as well, and maybe even get airlocks at the high points. Oops, maybe even get airlocks at the high points at this end. Okay, I guess the motto is if in doubt, clip it. So if there's anything else you need help with, don't hesitate to get in contact with us at plasticpipeshop.co.uk. Thanks for watching. Bye.